Allure of the Seas features an overview is coming up next. Are you looking for a Western Caribbean cruise? If yes, then here are the 10 must-hit things to know before boarding Allure of the Seas. One of the Oasis-class cruises, it made its maiden voyage in 2010, and it was enhanced in 2015. On board, it offers two surf simulators, an ice skating rink, zip line, two rock climbing walls, and all this fun is packed in seven different neighborhoods. The itinerary includes four to seven nights of sailing from Galveston, Texas to Western Caribbean. Starting from the deck three, we've got the theater that is multi-story up to deck five. Moving aft, we have the conference center and lower level of the dining room. Deck four is the entertainment palace. Starboard side hosts Jazz on Four, a great place for music. Next to it is Comedy Live, a comedy club. The port side houses Blaze, a great club. Want to skate? Then head to Studio B with an ice rink. Further back is the casino and the main dining room that goes up to Deck 5. Looking for some food and drinks? If yes, then head to Royal Promenade on Deck 5. Here at the forward is the Vitality at Sea Spa and Fitness Center with Jim on Deck 6. Moving aft is the theater. A running track also surrounds this deck. Finding this info helpful? Then please consider sharing. Royal Promenade houses Starbucks, Boleros, On Air Club, some shops, an English pub, and complimentary venues such as Sorrento's and Cafe Promenade. You'll also find a Rising Tide Bar, a Champagne Bar, as well as guest services. And at the back is the Aqua Theater that offers amazing shows. Craving some Mexican? Then head to Sabor on Deck 6 Boardwalk. Here you'll find Johnny Rockets, a delicious American food venue, an arcade, a carousel, a candy shop, an ice cream shop, Boardwalk Donuts, as well as complimentary doghouse. Midship is the loyalty desk, shore excursions, schooner bar, and focus photo studio. Deck 7 has the rock climbing walls that are accessible from Deck 6 rear. Looking for some greenery? Then head to the Central Park on Deck 7. Here you will find Vintage's Wine Bar, some shops, and Giovanni's Table, an Italian venue. Park Cafe is a complimentary lunch and breakfast venue. Also, Trellis Bar, 150 Central Park, a specialty dinner venue, Chops Grill, a steakhouse, Rising Tide Bar, as well as Dazzles, a great spot to enjoy live music. Decks 9 to 12 are mostly staterooms. However, Diamond Club and the Library is on decks 11 and 12. Deck 14 is for the kids. Here they'll find Adventure Ocean, an arcade, a nursery, while midship is the card room. Want to enjoy sun? Then head to Deck 15. Here at the forward you will find Solarium, an adult-only area, with complimentary Solarium Bistro, a great buffet. Moving back is the pool area, including multiple pools, hot tubs, bars, H2O zone for kids, as well as plenty of seating. You will find Fuel Teen Disco and Arcade at the back. For quick bites, check out the Wipeout Cafe, and there is a sports court and mini golf at the rear. Want to see more cruise and travel videos? Then please consider subscribing. Looking for some thrills? Then head to deck 16 rear to enjoy two flow riders, a zip line, and wipeout bar. Moving forward is the Wind Jammer, a great buffet venue. More ahead, you'll find Sky and Mast Bar, as well as Solarium Bar. Deck 17 houses Sweet Sun Deck with a lounge, as well as the Sweet Lounge and Coastal Kitchen that is complimentary for sweet guests. And deck 18 is reserved for staterooms. For accommodations, it offers staterooms with luxurious suites that you can learn more about from the link below. Overall, you will enjoy your time on Allure of the Seas. So that's all for this video. Thanks for watching and goodbye.